Hello? Yeah, Joe, Joe. I was thinking we should do another one, but with the, um, fucking jacket on. Fuck. Off. Fuck me? Yeah. No, I fuck you, pal. Why am I here? <laughs> Talking with Joes. Season 2. Episode 2. Welcome to the shit show. Joe, this isn't E-string. He's telling me we're going to chug our loves and lives over. Well, oh, you're going to chug my love? I'll chug your love. Fucking faggot. Anyway, on this episode, because it's New Year's and shit, brought a group alcoholic on. His name's Gerardo. Gerardo. Hi, I'm Gerardo. I do things. You can find him at, at Gerardo Does Things on Instagram. Something you'd pick up on that. I was hoping you'd pick up on these nuts. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. These nuts! Everybody seems to like that from the last episode. Don't ask me why. I don't fucking know. Alright, so because it's New Year's, New Year's episode, what drinks are you making for New Year's this year, Gerardo? Um. Shit. Time to get you drunk. We're starting with, um... Starting some Kettle One. Best cheap vodka you can find. It's actually... Okay, we're not gonna... Yeah, it's that. pretty cheap. Totally. You got a Costco membership. So anyways, you take the cheap-ass vodka, or any, really any type of cheap-ass vodka you can afford, it's cool. You take $10, you invest in yourself, don't get me wrong, you can get some Bud Ice, you can get some, uh, what's the Steelies? It's still yours. <sighs> Made out of Bumpus. Raspberry flavored bum piss. Yep. Or if you do fuck not, fucking think it. You just you just don't hate yourself. You, you get yourself. You know you invest. You take ten dollars. You get yourself some uh, some cheap vodka. Buy yourself some juice. I recommend orange juice with pineapple in it. Not just regular orange juice. Cause fuck that shit. Yeah, dude. No, no, fuck that. You gotta get that pineapple. Cause that sweetness just really cuts. The level of depression the, uh, you have when you're drinking this. And the burn from the cheapness of. From the depression. The depression. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Gonna be a good show, boys. Are we, are we gonna cook? I'm drunk. <clears throat> We're not cooking. Drunk. We're not cooking. Alright. We might cook. Yeah. We're not gonna cook. What's the secret to your jello shots? <laughs> um that is fucking straight kettle one. Kettle one vodka and Jolly Rancher Jello, and then you really gotta look inside yourself for the third secret: just pure love, unfiltered hatred. 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 That's right, fellas, I, folks. You want to make good Jello shot? Do you take all that pure, un like unfiltered hatred you have towards your friends? You sprinkle that shit in some Jello shots. Just a little exactly. bit of sprinkle. But, but bit of sprinkle. okay, you, you gotta sprinkle in the love. The sprinkling the love is using Kettle One instead of Everclear because you don't want to kill them. You just want them to pass out in your bathroom for eight hours. I might have one of my editors like put a photo right here. It's fucking hilarious. Can we do that, guys? Can we do that? That's what I'm talking about. Nice, nice. What, what the fuck? Does, you keep talking about this. What the fuck is this? I don't know what the like, fuck this is. Papa's Rolling Stone? Mama's a Rolling Stone. What the fuck are you even talking about? All right, okay. what does E strings and what does chugging your life mean? E strings is heaven. Heaven. Especially, you got, you got Sunny, you got Sunny D in there. That man is the. Shout out to Sunny D. Yep. Man's heavy handed. Heavy handed. He tries to kill you with alcohol and then before you leave, like makes you chug five bottles of water. So all the alcohol and water hits you at the same time as you're driving. Don't drink and drive, though. It's a great time. It's a great time. It's a fucking great time. It's great time. So pretty much chugging your life, as you like me and Gerardo, you have problems, but don't know how to deal with them. Exactly. Like, you normal know people to go, like, see therapy or, like, you know, talk to a friend about problems. I do a shit show to deal with my problems. He drinks them away. I come up with creative ways of drinking. He like, does. Did you know that the, uh, the triple X flavor of vitamin water looks exactly like red wine? Leaving that out there. 
do with that information what you will. What are ways to get drunk cheaply? First way, remember kids, anything with a plastic bottle, quality fucking alcohol. Quality. That's why they put it in the plastic so you know it's quality. Mm -hmm. Other ways to get drunk cheaply, still reserves, the purple one, whatever the fuck that is. What flavor is that? Raspberry? Tropical cum. <laughs> Speaking of cum, show me your underwear. Oh, yeah. I got, I got a little semen on my underwear, guys. I need you guys to see it. Just, just a bunch of little semen smoking their butts on my underwear. I'm really excited about these. Spend my money on socks, underwear, and alcohol. But you guys didn't think it was going to be this type of show, did you? Season two. Usually you got to pay for that. <laughs> Get at me on my premium snap. <laughs> Alright, you know, we're just going to keep on going. What's the dr what is the drunkest you've ever seen me? And I'm going to tell them what's the drunkest I've ever seen you. Okay, drunkest I've ever seen you uh, is... So, so let me set this up. We we go out to a concert oh, in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Which happens, you know, you just need some generators to work. So it works. So don't fucking worry about that. Uh, I just got done dealing with uh, let's just call her Satan. That was Satan at the time. <laughs> she yelled at me because I let Joe do donuts in my truck. Fucking bitch. So, anyways, I got done handling that mess. She goes home because. Fuck it, she's saying She's here. a fucking bitch. I know, she smells like sulfur. It's weird. <laughs> so anyways, I walk around the corner. I see Joe. Just just sit down. Look at the car's, like, tire. This girl named Polly. Shout out to Polly. Holding Joe up by the hair on the back of his head, because God knows that's the only hair he has. <laughs> Fuck Making you. out with him. And I'm like, oh, cool. You know, Polly's attractive in the dark. And uh, I just let that happen for a while. Until I walked around, I realized Joe was unconscious. She was... The whole fucking time. Just, just <laughs> The whole fucking time. Yeah. Don't remember shit. And then uh, I forgot Polly was dating someone else at the time. And they're just like, oh, hey, is that Polly's boy new Dennis. boyfriend? I was going to leave his name out of this. Yeah, Dennis is a cool guy. Yeah, I love it. I respect him. I forgot he existed. I'm sorry, Dennis. We, we'd only met like once before. And uh, I was drunk. I was like, oh, shit, Dennis exists. And they were like, oh, Dennis is over there. And I was like... Joe, time to go. <laughs> One day I hop. Good time. Drunk as I've ever seen you. Thanksgiving 2014. The party's over. We're all we're all done with our shit. Fucking everybody's gone home except for like four or five of us. We're sitting there, we're playing poker. This asshole runs out of fucking money and he just keeps on betting. I'm like, dude, you're out of money. He's like, no, I doubled down. I'm like, what do you mean you double down? He's like, I double down. Stands up, whips his dick out on the table. Doubles the fuck down. It's the most valuable, valuable thing I have. So anyway, that's sorry how behind one Gerardo's dick. That's right, bitch. We're all flush. This dick belongs to me now. Can we call this episode uh, Whiskey Business? <laughs> nope. That's a negative. Oh, man. That's a negative. What is the worst thing you've ever done drunk, Gerardo? And then what's the worst thing I've ever done drunk? My whole relationship with Satan. Wow! <laughs> nice. I was actually drunk pretty much that. What's the worst thing I've ever done drunk? You, you, uh, you left a Joe-sized hole in my wall. <laughs> Good time. Good time. To fix that. He's also wow. fucked our bartender's girlfriend. Yeah, he no longer. He's he might be dead as far as we know. They weren't together at they'd, the time. They'd been broken up for like thirty minutes. It was like a solid five hours. She made it seem like it was you know thirty minutes. A week. Thirty minutes. You know, shout out to other people who make things seem. Like What's the been. best thing you've ever done drunk? Best thing I've ever done drunk. The best thing you've ever done drunk. Daniel's girl. His name's Daniel, by the way. <laughs> Shout out, Daniel. Hope you're still alive, Terminator. I kind of miss your ass. I miss being security. Best thing I've ever done drunk? Chase's mom. Wow. Her name's Diane. That's not my mother's name, but you know. True. I fucking <laughs> knew Damn it. it. I knew it. I knew it for like a solid yeah, month it, or two. Well, you know, every day now, I wake up, and it's become the worst day of my life now. Why? 
Is it? Have you have you covered yourself in maple syrup and asked? Oh, you yeah. want to short stack it? I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna kill myself. That was cool. Definitely worth it. Is there more? Oh fuck! Fuck! What? Why the fuck am I doing this show anymore? As long as it's not in my hair. It takes forever to wash it out, bro. Why can't they give us all this shit and expect us not to fucking- What is this? That's fine, That's your camera, dickhead. What the fuck was- Happy New Year, motherfuckers. We're gonna wrap this show up with some shit. <laughs> We're gonna wrap this show up with some general questions. Gerardo, would you suck one dude's dick ten times or ten dudes' dick one time? Are they clean? The, okay, here's okay, the deal. Okay, we okay. don't know if they're clean, they're very racist, so you might have a three inch dick. You might have a fucking nine-inch dong. Okay, so so uh, plan. Uh, one guy's dick ten times because then you clean it the first time with your mouth, and I'm assuming you get mouthwash in between because. You nope, no, no, fuck no. You just go fucking oh 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 straight for it. Okay. I'm gonna take a lesson from a good old book of Dave fucking Elliot. Dave, I doubt you're out there watching, but if you're watching, I miss your ass. I would suck. Ten dudes dicked one time. Cause if you suck one dude dick ten times, that like shows you have some sort of dedication. That means you like it because you keep on going back. It's fucking gay. I'll fucking kiss you, Jeremy. <laughs> no, no. Final question. We've had this conversation before. I'll do it. Final question. I'm gonna fucking it's stop. Like, it's like New Year's because I'm drunk. Year. Happy anniversary, by the way. Remember that one time? Oh fuck! I was lost in transit. Oh fuck, oh, bud. Oh fuck, bud. Okay. One more time, because I'm drunk. Okay. If your mom and your girlfriend's body, if your mom and your girlfriend switch bodies, and you had to fuck one of them to get them back to normal, who are you fucking? Who are you fucking? The, the one thing you need to understand is... Who are you fucking? I'm the best lover I've ever had, okay? Because it's just like, I know what I want. It's like, I don't even have to tell myself. I can just like read my mind. And sometimes, you know, I act like I don't want it, but I know I do want it. So just read Mama always said, said you want a job done right, you do it yourself. Exactly. Shout out to hand jobs. Especially because, you know, that, that the cunt with the turtleneck. That girl, she was like, my pussy gonna rock your world. It's gonna wreck your fucking world after my pussy. It did wreck his world. It, was not, it wasn't uh, the pussy. She just, she just, it's her fucking attitude. She just sat there and fucking acted like she was scooting in a chair for ten fucking minutes. And I'm just <laughs> there like, I mean. Well, Gerardo, the joke's on you. Because I'm single. Shout out, ladies. I really can't answer that question. Well, anyway, Gerardo. I got you a little gift for coming on the show. Fucking bring it, it over here. It wasn't like three. You wanna go shots fuck off, buddy? Hmm? Of different things. Got you a little gift being on the show. I just wanna say a little thank you. You wasted your New Year's here with us. Don't know why. I'm not sure I'd be other places. I don't know why. You ready for it? You ready for it? <laughs> fucking right here, pal! Joe, Joe, I got you a little something. What you got, bud? Right here. And right here. Wow. Right, right Been right fucking here. deuced. Just just right. Yes, right. Oh, look, 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 look at my flask. Look, look, it's a flask full of fuck you, Joe, and a little whiskey. Can we fucking stop? stop? Are we fucking done? This show is fucking over. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck the new sound guy, Chase. Alright, Chase. Chase. Chase, can you call him up an Uber? No. Okay, I'll take fuck the off. lift. I'll call, I'll, I'll call the cyber police myself. Fucking hook. Really, Chase? I'll call your fucking mom, and she can ride me all night. Long. Why would you do that to your grandmother, you fuck? <laughs>